Hello everyone, welcome back to Mass Mood. Here we have interesting exponential radical equation x to the power square root of x equal to square root of x. So let's try to solve it. Let's try to simplify this a little bit. Okay, we have square root of x on the right, so of course we can divide it and right here we'll have 1 and it's a really good simplifying trick. Okay, we will have x to the power square root of x over square root of x of course equal to 1 because we divided both sides. What are we going to do next? Right here we can write this square root of x in a different way. x to the power square root of x over x to the power 1 half. Nothing changed, just write our square root sign like this. Ok, equal to 1. If we have x in the denominator we can bring it in, in our denominator but we need to put minus right here. Real good simplifying method. x to the power square root of x times x, but not to the power one half, to the power minus one half, equal to one. If we have same basis, but different exponents, different powers, so we need to add our exponent and powers. Of course, if we have uh, multiplying right here. So if we have our rule a to the power x, times b to the power x, sorry, a to the power b, we will have a to the power x plus b. So we just add our exponent, our powers, so we will have x, x to the power square root of x minus one half equal to one. And this is our final equation, but we have to solve this. Of course, we can express this one as x to the zero power, so let's do this, x to the power square root of x minus one half equal to x to the zero power. Same basis, and we need to write an equation with our exponents. So we will have the first square root of x minus one half equal to zero, square root of x equal to one half, bring this minus one half on the right, and raise both sides to the second power and we will have right here on the left x and on the right 1 over 4. But will be this the only one root and maybe we'll have more roots, so let's take a look on this equation. So I think that you can see that it will be one more obvious root. If x equal to 1 as well, we will have our equation work because it doesn't matter what the power 100 minus 100 if the base is 1 and doesn't matter what the base the equation will be equal to 1 so we will have two roots the first one x1 equal to 1 over 4 and the second one x equal to 1 if you have any question if you have any suggestion maybe you have a faster method how to solve this maybe you have any suggestion write your suggestion in a comment thank you for watching and see you in the next videos